All right, this is Nick the Mutant Walker, and we're about to crush some legs. Cue the intro. We are here at the Dragon's Lair, getting ready to train some legs. Um, we are officially two weeks deep into prep, which means we are 18 weeks out. Um, it's been a good start. My weight really hasn't changed much, to be honest. I'm floating around 292 to 294-ish, but I'm already noticing some body composition change here, so that's you know really good. Um, but overall, you know things have been going really smooth, really well. Matt's really happy with how we're progressing. The training he's very happy with. So um, today's more of a quad dominant day. We're gonna do. We're gonna start with a hamstring and do probably a good three quad movements, and then that'll probably be maybe one calf abductor. Um, you know the staples. But so far, feeling fresh, feeling good. Um, you know, after I got back from well, Canada a couple weeks ago, I didn't train for those four to five days. So that was a nice little reset, nice little break for the body. And um, I think we're responding pretty well. I didn't expect to get this heavy, to be quite honest. I was hoping to stay around the 280, 285 mark, but I'm not mad because I'm holding very good condition at this weight. My number one tip that I think that will help grow quads, which I think have drastically helped grow mine, is controlling the weight, contracting the muscle as hard as you can, doing some sort of full range of motion. But with that, it's actually, you know, it's okay to do partial reps at the end. You know, like I did two sets of 315 on this, but, and then after I racked the second set, I dropped it back down to two plates and Pretty much just went to 90 degree angle, not all the way down, and just pumped them as many as I could. And another, and I feel like that will help contract the muscle, which in return will give the muscle a, bit, a bigger pump, which in my, my beliefs, a bigger pump means bigger muscle. Because now with that pump, you're gonna go home, feed the nutrients into that direct area where the, all that blood is, and it's gonna grow. And that's the whole point. When you have people come up on this, especially this machine, I don't know how, fucking stack the whole entire rack on here, scream, grunt, ah! legs wide as a motherfucker hitting all glutes and hammies. You're not, you're not, gonna, you're not you're really doing anything. You might have, a, you might have a big ass, but your quads ain't getting nothing out of it. So lower the weight, contract the muscle as hard as you can, and stop trying to ego lift, cause. Well, bodybuilders and powerlifters.
you know, the piggyback off I was sitting over there, you see me doing lunges with no weight. You know, this is like my last exercise here, and I feel I can contract my muscle so hard doing just body weight that like I'm already sore and that my legs are more pumped than what they were over there. So again, it's not about the weight. It's just about the control. That's what grows. If I started with lunges, I might use weight, sure, but toward the end, there's no need for it. Your, your, your legs are pretty much already fried. This is just kind of what I like to call a nice little finisher. So in my mind, yeah, if, I, could, I could use weight, but I don't really see a need for it, you know? If you're contracting and training as hard as you are on the other exercises, there really shouldn't be a need for weight on walking lunges. But Nick, what happens if you want progressive overload? If I want progressive overload, right now, I probably wouldn't feel it. I probably wouldn't feel, I mean, if I grabbed like five or 10 pounds, whatever, right? But no one's doing that. You know, they're just trying to grab 80 to 90 100 pound dumbbells or 245s on their back. End of a workout, it's just not working. You're not going to feel it and you put yourself at a high risk of injury, which is pointless. Take it from someone who I believe I have drastically improved my legs and outer sweeps since the Arnold. Once I, I learned how to really, really control, first of all, you don't need as much volume. And second, they grow a lot faster. And it's all about frequency. I, I train my legs every four to five days instead of once every seven days, every eight days. And they just grow a lot better. And also you gotta find the proper way to recover. Once you know what you can recover from, you can begin to hit things more frequently. Which in return, the more frequently you can hit it over and over again, the more it's gonna grow. And then you can even take time off where you train it once a week. Now you're giving it more rest in that time frame. So sometimes that allows it to grow even more. And now once you gave it rest, only training it once a week, now you can go back to training every four to five days. And it's just gonna get better and better and better from there. That is the leg workout for 18 weeks out. You know, as you can see, I didn't feel the need to, you know, max out any machines here today. Um, could I have, for sure, you know, could I have gone a lot heavier? Yeah, I went, for sure. But the older I am getting, the more it's, it's not about weight, right? It's, it's just about contracting the muscle as hard as you can, you know? And then progressing within that. So if you get to a point, where you can rock a machine out, like the leg press or the hack, the same way you would do three to four plates a side, then fuck yeah, you're strong, that's good. But, it's gonna be a while before I think anybody can really do that. You know, I, there was a time when I used to rock out a leg press, and now I put like eight or nine plates on each side, and it's hard, because, you know, I'm doing a very slow eccentric, full range of motion, pause in the hole, and explode up. You're gonna realize you'll get more out of that than trying to ego lift and try and you know and try and lift the world. It's just not gonna happen. You know, we're bodybuilders here, like I said, not power lifters, so contract the muscle as hard as you can, pump the muscle, as much blood into the muscle as you can. And I promise you, not only will your legs grow, but if you train that way with every body part, bro, well, everything else is gonna grow too. So I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, we'll see you for the next one.